This is Indy, um, Buller across Great Dane. She's a rescue dog. Her owners have gone away again and uh, she's here for boarding and rehab. Um, Indy is very scared, very frightened, very shy. You can see her body posture, she's extremely low to the ground. Uh, there's only one real reason why they breed these type of dogs and this is to go out pig hunting. Uh, it's pretty common in Australia to do that. Um, so we're going to work with her and try to bring out the dog back out of her because a lot of things do frighten her, a lot of things do set her off. We're going to find out everything that does frighten her and gently and slowly going to introduce her to these things and get a different response from the brain and help her out, desensitise her from these things. Indy's nine months old and she was rescued I think if I remember correctly about a month ago from a local pound. But she's very beautiful in nature, she's gorgeous here, she's just pretty darn frightened of, frightened of most things. Here's a push bike coming down, we'll see how she reacts to this. The lady's got her shirt flapping out. That is good, she's a little bit curious, very insecure, but curious, which is a good thing. That gives us a head start. We don't usually use choke chains or any, I actually don't own any. This is what she came with. And the reason why I don't put the leads that we usually use is because if she does bite them and runs off, the chances of getting her back are fairly slim. So this is what she came with. This is what we're going to use. There's no chance of her biting it. We're not going to use this for any corrections in any way, shape or form. Um, as I said, I don't even own any, don't believe in them, don't have any, don't want any. But in this case, it's actually a good thing that she did have one. It's just a much more secure. Good girl.
Okay, so we've passed Indy over to Suzanne, um, just to see if we can get any different response from a different handler, of course. Uh, the reason why we've got balloons on her, she's not afraid of balloons, but it's just the whole fact of having something behind her or on top of her floating around to desensitize her to a few things. Um, there we go, so she shuts down from time to time. She's just new to that, so just give a gentle nudge, pull forward, keep walking. The moment she stops, so does the brain, that's when she starts to shut down. And that's, we, not, we don't want that. Yeah, she's avoiding the car. That's okay, that is a much easier she goes. Yeah, she's doing a lot better. The fact that she's young as well, that's an advantage for us because puppies even though she's very big, she's still a pup at nine months. Puppies do tend to overcome things a lot quicker than adult dogs do. So it is a very, it's very important, it's imperative that now we get these issues out of the way because they will only grow, grow till they get worse and worse. And eventually she might start biting fear aggression. Um, so if we can get her to overcome her fears and just relax and be a dog, because the dogs are usually very relaxed, they're very calm, they don't have fear of anything, they're usually curious so they're always going towards something but again she could be genetically shy um, or because of the fact that she might have been bred for pigging, she could have been a failed pig dog, uh, she didn't live up to expectations so there's a lot of ifs and we can wonder about a lot of things but we're not 100% sure of course but this is actually really good you might have noticed the harness and the strap that goes around the back of her it's so she doesn't tuck her tail in too much because the fearful dog that's the first thing to do is tuck their tail in so keeping the tail as far away as possible from under her is going to help a lot as well um, but this is good this is pretty good She's a very, very gorgeous little dog. She's just fearful. And, but we're here to see where she's going now, where she's coming from. So it's all going to be good from here onwards. Come on, come on, come on, good girl. Because this time she was fearful, that's why we're not taking her out of the van. So we'll just wait till she calms down a little bit and walk her out of it. Take her out of there while she's in a fearful state of mind. That's what she's going to start to associate.
Let's try that again. Come on, Indy. Come back. Just trying to relax her a little bit before we do this. She's gone through a lot today and she's come out of it extremely well. So, here we go. Let's try. Come on, Indy. Good girl. That was a breeze. <laughs> 